वेलकम टू एन जी कॉन ऑनलाइन अकेडमी इस लेक्चर में हम डिस्कस करेंगे एम सी क्यूज ऑफ संडे टेस्ट टेस्ट टू विच इज़ द स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर तो फर्स्ट एम सी क्यू से इज़ द थ्री डिफरेंट स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर डिफर इन तो थ्री डिफरेंट स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर डिफर करती हैं अरेंजमेंट में At 900 mm एच ई प्रेशर एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री टेम्परेचर अ गैस ऑक्यूपाइज थ्री हंड्रेड एम एल वॉलीम हाउ मच एडिशनल प्रेशर इज रिक्वायर टू रिड्यूस इट्स वॉलीम टू टू हंड्रेड एम एल एट सेम टेम्परेचर नाउ टेम्परेचर सेम है हमने रिलेशन लेना है प्रेशर और वॉलीम के दरमियान सो वी विल यूज बॉयज लॉ पी वन वी वन इज इक्वल टू पी टू वी टू सो पी वन इज नाइन हंड्रेड एंड वी वन इज थ्री हंड्रेड नाउ P2 is unknown and V2 is 200. So P2 is equal to 900 into 300 divided by 200. So cancel these out. 900 into 3 is equal to 2700 and 2700 divided by 2 is equal to 1350. So 1350 is the new pressure and the old pressure is 900. So 450 atm additional pressure is required. Which temperature relation is correct? So Fahrenheit is equal to 9 by 5 centigrade plus 32. So if we take 100 degrees, so 9 by 5 into 100 plus 32, we get 180 plus 32 is equal to 212 Fahrenheit. which is not a postulate of kinetic molecular theory all the gases are composed of molecules molecules are in a state of constant motion molecular collisions are perfectly elastic there are small forces of attraction according to kmt there are no forces of attraction between molecules pressure of a dry gas equals to so dry gas equals to whenever we measure the pressure of a moist gas we subtract the aqueous tension from it which is the pressure of water vapors to get the pure vapor pressure of gas so a is the correct option a is called coefficient of attraction in van der waals equation for real gases units of a is so a is equal to p dash v square divided by n square so the units of pressure are newton per meter square volume are meter cube and square taken is meter 6 divided by mole minus 2 so we get newton meter 4 mole minus 2 so c is the correct option if so2 and ch4 are mixed in a container and mass of so2 taken is twice that of ch4 what fraction of pressure is exerted by so2 so this is so2 and this is ch4 now normally if we take equal masses then the fraction between them is 1 ratio 4 now if mass of so2 taken is twice so it becomes 2 ratio 4 or 1 ratio 2 so the fraction of pressure exerted by so2 is 1/3 of the total pressure real gases behave like ideal at so real gases behave like ideal at low pressure and high temperature and at high pressure and low temperature a gas behaves like a real gas the ratio of number of molecules in a mixture containing hydrogen and nitrogen in a ratio 1 ratio 2 by weight is so we have taken hydrogen and nitrogen normally if we take equal mass of hydrogen and nitrogen the ratio between them is 1 here we take these two one ratio this is molar mass 28 and this is molar mass 2 so one ratio 14 is the normal ratio if we twice the weight of nitrogen so we get 14 ratio 2 or 7 ratio 1 so a is the correct option at stp compressibility of one mole of a gas is more than unity so the factor z is more than unity it means the the volume of gas is now at stp the pressure would be 1 atm so the volume should be 22.4 now if 
this is greater than 1 it means that volume is greater than 22.4 so a is the correct option if volume of a gas at 25 is 546 its volume at 35 would be so final volume is equal to initial volume plus initial volume into change in temperature divided by 273 now initial volume is 546 plus we say 546 into change in temperature is 10 divided by 273 so 546 plus 20 is equal to 566 centimeter cube if equal volumes of CH4, N2, O3 and argon are taken so equal volume means equal number of moles the greatest mass is possessed by so the greatest mass is possessed by that gas whose molar mass is greatest. So O3 has greatest molar mass so its mass is greatest. Volume of oxygen gas taken at STP is 1.12 decimeter cube. Mass of the gas is. Now, now if we take 22.4 decimeter cube it is equal to 1 mole of oxygen which is 32 grams. Now we have taken 1.12 decimeter cube of oxygen and its mass is x. So x is equal to 32 into 1.12 divided by 22.4. So now this is 0 0.05. Sorry, 11.2 divided by 22.4 is 1 divided by 2. And if it is 1.12 divided by 22.4, so it is 0 0.2. So 32 divided by 0 0.2 is equal to, uh, it would be 20. So 32 divided by 20 is equal to 1.6 grams. So D is the correct option. The relation P1V1 by T1 for 1 mole of a gas equals to. So PV is equal to NRT. For 1 mole, we can write PV divided by T is equal to R. So C is the correct option. Which assumption of KMT is a cause of deviation from ideal behavior? So these two postulates that attractive forces are negligible and volume is negligible. These are cause of deviation from ideal behavior. So both A and B are correct. Rate of diffusion of CH4 as compared to helium is so rate of diffusion of 1 divided by 2 is equal to molar mass of CH4 is 16 and that of helium is 4. So this is we get 2. So rate of diffusion of helium is 2 times that of CH4 and that of CH4 is half times that of helium. 4 balloons are filled with 4 gases helium, SO2, CH4 and NH3. The gases are allowed to escape the balloon that remains inflated for the longest time. So SO2 has greatest mass and it diffuses slowest, therefore it remains inflated for longest time. Pressure is greater for, so pressure is greater for ideal gas because there are no forces of attraction. Density of gas is greatest as, so density is greatest at lowest temperature and highest pressure. So among these, this pressure is highest and this temperature is lowest among the given so A is the correct option. Weight of 2.24 decimeter cube of SO2 at STP is. So basically weight of 22.4 decimeter cube of SO2 is 64 grams so that of 2.24 would be equal to X. So X is equal to 64 into 2.24 divided by 22.4 so it is equal to 6.4 grams so B is the correct option. Which liquids shrink in volume after mixing? So in these liquids chloroform and acetone when mixed together they form hydrogen bond with each other. So due to formation of hydrogen bond after mixing their volume shrinks inside. Liquid with greatest rate of evaporation. So CHCl3 its boiling point is 61, acetone is 56, CCl4 is 78 and C6H6 is 80 degree. So it has lowest boiling point and greatest rate of evaporation. Dipole dipole forces are found in. So this is alcohol, this is acid, they have hydrogen bond. Bromine has London dispersion forces, this is a polar molecule, so it has dipole dipole forces. 
order of strength of ion forces is so hydrogen bond is strongest followed by dipole dipole followed by london forces name and strength of ion forces for c6h6 acetone and nh3 so basically c6h6 is 80 degree in boiling point acetone is 56 and nh3 is minus 33 so here we have basically the greatest forces in c6h6 so its london forces are stronger followed by its dipole dipole followed by its hydrogen bond so a is correct at higher altitudes boiling point of h2o is less than 100 this is because of so at higher altitudes the atmospheric pressure is low therefore boiling point is low while boiling vapor pressure is greatest for so keep in mind whenever a liquid boils its vapor pressure is equal for to external pressure so when all of these liquids are boiling their vapor pressure would be same and equal to external pressure earthenware vessels keep water cool due to so in earthenware vessels water evaporates through the pores of vessel decreasing the kinetic energy of the water behind and it remains cool evaporation is an so it is basically an endothermic process and spontaneous as well so c is the correct option increase in which factor decreases the rate of evaporation so temperature increase increases evaporation increase in surface area increases evaporation increase in im forces decreases evaporation because molecules are held strongly together boiling under reduced pressure is called so boiling under reduced pressure is called vacuum distillation and is used for liquids which decompose before boiling while boiling surface tension of a liquid is zero so whenever a liquid boils its surface tension would be zero which process is most endothermic so this is going from solid to gas this is going from liquid to gas this is going from solid to liquid and this is going from solid to gas so these two processes are direct processes in which solid is going to gas so these two are sublimations but co2 is a weak solid nh4cl is a strong solid so it requires greater energy hydrogen bonding is not involved in so it is involved in structure of ice it is involved in high boiling point of water HF boiling higher than HCl it is correct I2 in solid state iodine is in solid state due to london forces not due to hydrogen bond SI unit of viscosity is so SI unit of viscosity is newton second per meter square or kg per meter per second so C is the correct option the increase per unit volume per degree rise in temperature is called so increase in volume with rise in temperature is called expansion substances that solidify from molten state without crystallization are called so that substances which solidify and do not form crystals are called amorphous crystals triad axis is so triad axis is given from the book same view appearing thrice on crystal rotation which pair of solids are not isomorphs so these three pairs are given in textbook table in isomorphs example so this is not example of isomorph csu3 exist in two different forms this phenomenon is called so whenever a substance exist in more than one crystalline forms it is called polymorphism isomorphs are likely to have so isomorphs are likely to have same radius ratio that's why their shape is also same temperature at which cubic tin transits into tetragonal tin is so transition temperature of tin is 13.2 degrees wrong statement regarding amorphous solids so they are isotropic this is correct have no cleavage plane this is also correct are unsymmetrical this is correct definite geometry this is wrong because they do not have a definite geometry on the basis of difference in six parameters which among which three are of length and three are of angles unit cell are classified into seven different types so c is the correct option which unit cells have all angles equal to 90 degree centigrade so all the angles are equal to 90 degree centigrade in cubic 
tetragonal and orthorhombic so d is the correct option unit cell of calcium carbonate is so calcium carbonate is orthorhombic or commonly called rhombic and it is taken from textbook table a unit cell with all the lengths unequal and two angles equal to 90 degrees is so if all the three lengths are unequal so a b and c all of them are unequal one angle is not 90 the other two angles are 90 so this is called a monoclinic unit cell solid co2 is example of so solid co2 is a molecular crystal because it contains co2 molecules individually coordination number 8 is found in so cscl exist in body centered cubic in which we can see that cesium lies in the center of cube and there are eight chloride surrounding the cesium atom so coordination number is 8 lattice energy is greatest for so whenever we have group 2 elements and group 1 elements cut down the group 1 elements now here in magnesium size is small and charge is same so it leads to greater lattice energy so b is the correct option brittle solids are so basically ionic solids are brittle whenever we push them so they break easily this is because whenever we apply a small force the like charges come opposite to each other and these crystals break non metallic solid that is good electrical conductor so graphite is a non metallic solid and is a very good electrical conductor directional forces are present in so directional forces are present in atomic or covalent solids because they are joined by covalent bonds which have a proper direction because covalent bonds are formed by overlap of orbitals in crystal structure of nacl the arrangement of cl minus ions is so in nacl the cl minus ions are arranged in a phase centered cubic structure thank you